Hey everyone, this is Eric with another VBA tip. And if you like the tips, please subscribe to the channel to make sure that you get all the tips I release when I release them. Today's video is on how to determine if a user clicked the cancel button on a VBA input box. Long, long title, but um, so we're looking at how to how to detect if the cancel button has been clicked. Here on your screen, I have a just some short little verbiage. Uh, it's a VBA input box cancel. Again, you can get the code at vbahowto.com or the link in the description below the video. So uh, this here, I'm putting the input box, the result into it, this uh, variable, and the variable is called dig permits. Okay, we're get a dig permit here, and I'm using these named arguments prompt, prompt equals, and this the named arguments allow me to put the arguments in every in any order that I wish. Um, that's and it's another way of doing things. I could have left them out and just used the commas, but of course the the function expects the arguments to be put in a certain uh, in a certain order. And if they're not, uh, you're gonna have to use these named arguments. So and so I'm just showing you how to do it. Otherwise, I could have used this uh, in Telesense. We have prompt. Okay title title default so basically I did the same thing here by naming naming my uh, naming my arguments and if the and the way I'm detecting if the cancel button has been clicked okay I'm uh, run run and run this and um, enter the day permit number one two three and enter one two three is my result and what happens if I choose cancel well that means that they oh if you choose cancel yes was clicked how do I know it the, the variable is going to be null if you or the length of it is going to be zero uh, and notice that when I run this and I click cancel the len is the uh, dig permit variable is zero it equals zero so the length of it is zero and so i just detected i say well the length is zero mess but you must have canceled the box it bang canceled it okay so hopefully that was helpful again these are the short little tidbits uh short little tidbits you may be interested in that if you want to uh leave a more specific question do so in the comments area below otherwise again subscribe like the video share it all that good stuff and again my name's eric you can find the code for this at vbahowto.com thanks for watching